along here at TN Inspire, we have from JCA, Managing Director of Client Development, this is Ellen Doro Roar. I am really fascinated by tiny houses. <laughs> Tiny houses are a cultural phenomenon. There are shows on cable, there's a section of the Huffington Post dedicated to tiny houses. There's even a PBS special about tiny house living. Oh, it's not that one, sorry. Okay, so tiny houses are about 100 to 400 square feet. They're really small. And people are choosing to live in tiny houses, sometimes to reduce impact on the environment, sometimes to save money. But I'm fascinated by people motivated by reducing the connection that they have to a lot of stuff. Because having a lot of things and stuff takes dollars, mental energy, time, and people are saying, I want a different way of doing this. So people who are living the tiny house way are choosing only those things that they feel contribute to their happiness, and they're saying, these are only the things that I'm going to live with in my tiny house. And in that way of living, the hope is that they are focused on the things that matter and have better satisfaction. Well, I think on a professional level, sometimes I have a similar yearning because when I look at what we do professionally, our initiatives, our projects, our budgets, our plans, our meetings, our emails, everything that we have to do takes up mental real estate. And sometimes we're just creating so much stuff that our professional lives just kind of feel like that. So. <laughs> What are some lessons from tiny house living that we could think about? So lesson one from tiny house living is trim the things that don't matter. I used to work with a gal who was brilliant and she would, at the beginning of every day, hand write four sentences on a piece of paper, the same four sentences. They were her annual work goals for her job. And what that did for her was it helped her clean off the shelves of the things day to day that actually didn't relate to what she needed to focus on. And she just had this wisdom and this sort of focused elegance about the way that she worked that I think was really excellent. So that was something that I think is a lesson from tiny house living that I'd love to try. So lesson two from tiny house living is smash walls. In a traditional house, you're gonna have a dedicated space for your living room, your dining room, your foyer, uh, perhaps your workroom, your mudroom, and so on. In a tiny house, they say, no, no, no. We're gonna have one space, and we're gonna reuse architectural elements creatively and have one beautiful unified space to live that's very small. And I have worked with people who are really brilliant at taking certain lessons and themes from projects and applying them consistently. They'll use the same KPIs. They'll use the same way of thinking about things sometimes to really create focused and efficient ways of working. And I thought that's kind of cool. So lesson three of tiny house living is look up. In a traditional house, storage is done in a traditional way, but in a tiny house, storage goes all the way to the ceiling. They might creatively even hang baskets in the space and bring things down when they need them. And you know what? Sometimes in our work lives, we might just have to use resources more creatively. There might be people on our teams who could do completely different things than what we're thinking about. Maybe there's somebody there that's a resource you haven't thought about who might want to try something new. We could be thinking about things differently, couldn't we? So lesson four of Tiny House Living is lots of windows. If you're gonna live in this really tiny space, the experts say you have to let the natural light in. You have to be able to see the outside world to enjoy this life. Well, I 
think that we are here at TLCC and we are letting the light in. I hope that we are looking at what everybody else is doing because sometimes it's through the hard and complex work of our colleagues that we can achieve the simple elegance of doing something a tiny house way in our own organizations.